Looking ahead to another viewing spectacular up in the sky, the 2024 total solar eclipse. Erie is in that path of totality for the big event. This morning, our Megan Zielinski is joining us live with more on how to make sure we're best prepared to view this once in a lifetime event. Hi, Megan. Good morning. Well, Tracy, I know what you're thinking. You're extremely jealous of my glasses I have on here this morning. Well, you better get a pair for yourself because they are the best way to be prepared for that solar eclipse April 8th, 2024. And there's several ways to do that. You're going to want to make sure that you buy those glasses from reputable vendors. You want to make sure that they're not counterfeits. Erie News Now found some places they include AAA Eclipse and Visisolar.com. You want to make sure that these glasses fit your face properly and are not damaged so there's no gaps to let light in. You want to make sure that if you do wear glasses that they fit about the same as your glasses do normally. We spoke with Dr. Nick Sala of Pediatric Ophthalmology of Erie and he tells us that it's important that the eyewear displays the correct safety certification for proper protection. They have an ISO reading and it'll say ISO 12312-2, okay, which is a big number, but you have to look for that number to know that they are actually going to be helpful in protecting your eyes during uh, viewing of the eclipse. Um, I kind of ran across a little article where uh, uh, when the time that this was happening, uh, the glasses were hard to find. Someone bought a whole bunch of glasses, and when, she, when they got them, they realized that they weren't ac accurate at all. So you're going to have to really be cautious. Uh, you might even want to get these glasses more sooner than later because when the eclipse kindly finally comes, they may be fine, hard to find, so uh, something to kind of think about. So that's how to get them, but why is it so important? We'll talk more about this in the next half hour. From the Weather Deck, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.